Hey, thank you for checking out my video on my Minecraft survival world. I have a few things that I want to get done this episode, so let's make a to-do list. One first on the to-do list should be enchant an enchantment table. The second should be building a mob and XP farm to get levels to enchant with. Third is to get full diamond armor, and fourth and final thing that I want to get done is building a starter house. So let's get started with that. And I just loaded up a new world. It's vanilla Minecraft, and we spawn next to this huge mountain. So I think the first thing that we're going to want to do is get some trees to get some wood and stuff like that. Now that we got some wood and some sticks, I'm going to make some planks and a crafting table. And let's plop this bad boy down right here and make ourselves one of these so we can get some coal. And some stone, and then we can get rid of this pickaxe as well. Now that we have three pieces of cobblestone, let's go make ourselves a... One of these. There we go. And already upgraded. Let's get ourselves some more stone so we can get... A axe, and then we're gonna go chop down a bunch of trees. No, we don't want one of those, we want one of those. Alright. I got a bunch of wood. Let's make a stone sword real quick. I just need to get two of these and go find some some sheep so that way we can sleep through the night. Just need to go find some sheep. On the way to find some sheep for a bed, I found some pigs and we're definitely despawning these pigs. No killing going on here. Alright, I got seven pieces of food. One sheep, two sheep. And that's three sheeps. So let's run back to the base now. I ran all the way back over there, but then on the way back I saw this little cave. So I'm gonna sit over here and explore it. Oh, it's not even a cave, so I'm just gonna make this my house. Let me whip some torches up. Each should do for right now, just to light up everything back here. And I also got one of these to make myself a pink dye so we don't have to have a white bed. Well, let's go ahead and plop that down. Uh, yes, I got planks already. And then pink bed. Because anything is better than just the plain white. And we can't sleep yet, but I've reset my spawn. I then decided that I was going to get rid of some of the ores and some of the stone that was in the way of this little cave that I found to make my house out of. So I'm just mining coal right now. And then sleeping and then making this whole place flat. First thing that I need to do is make one of these so that way I can cook up these so that way we have something to eat. Make a chest. Got my pink dye in there. Oh, I have a raw mud that I can also cook. I then decided to start making a mine. I'm just digging out the thing so I don't hit my head when I walk up and down after I add stairs. Making it big enough the first time so I don't have to go back. And on the way down, I'm just getting as much coal as I possibly can, so that we don't have to get any later. And 
And then I'm adding walls to my house and adding a roof as well. Or not really my house, but my like starter cave thing. And then adding this weird front to the front of the building. I'm adding this pillar so that way I can see the house from far away and don't have to uh, remember where I am. I then decided to go caving and this happened. Literally two days in, so it's a good thing I'm not playing hardcore. I then went back and tried to get all my stuff and the zombie was really annoying. But I finally killed him and got all my stuff back. And then it was just time to break all the coal that I saw. In the middle of breaking all the coal and iron that I saw on the mountain, I saw a village and a mangrove forest that we'll go explore later. After getting the iron and the coal from the mountain, I decided to make some iron armor so that I wouldn't die again, hopefully. I also decided to make an iron sword and an iron bucket so that way I can grow some sugarcane for the enchantment table. And then I went around and grabbed a bunch of sugarcane so that way I could plant it on my island. I then went on the hunt for some seeds, so that way I could grow some wheat to breed cows that I'm going to get in a minute for the leather for books to make the enchantment table as well. I then went to the village and found, or gra grabbed some of the hay bales so that way I can speed up the wheat production. I then cleared some land to make a cow pen. And I'm placing fences, making the cow pen. I then went on a long 50 plug journey, not really long, just joking, um, journey to find these cows with the weed, I mean wheat, that I found. And then I'm walking them back. The early part of Minecraft is really boring, that's why I'm just skipping through all of this, just so you guys know. And then I finally get them in the pen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I'm about to breed them, I'm pretty sure. Poop. There we go. Gotta look away so they can make their baby. It's time to make a iron pickaxe, because we're gonna go mining for some diamonds. And let's make two of these. And then let's go down here and start digging down some more. I think the last time I was down here, yes. Um, ooh, that's a skeleton. Cheese zombie real quick. Let's dig right here so we get down. And there's a magma block. Alright, let's get us all the iron that we can see and all the coal that we can see. While I was down in the cave that I had just broken into, I found the zombie spawner. I might make a future XP farm out of, but probably not because I already got a better one that you guys will see in a little bit. But I got gunpowder out of the chest and then I got my first name tag which will be huge for a uh, iron farm in the next video.
I'm gonna head back up to the top and make myself some iron pickaxes and then come down here. Well, I was walking back and I found a diamond. So let's find our first diamond. It was just one. That's kind of pathetic. Geared up to go find some more diamonds because I want to find five diamonds to get a diamond pickaxe and enough to make a um, enchanting table. So that way we can enchant the pickaxe for a fortune. So that way we can get all the diamonds to make the diamond armor that I want to get. I'm probably just going to skip all the way until I get to the Y level 58, which is where you want to mine for diamonds. So I'll see y'all there. Hey, right, we built a mine. Let's go down this bad boy and start mining for diamonds. Oh, well, I'm and now we just mine until I find diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. And one diamond, two diamonds, yes we got enough, make a pickaxe and an enchantment table, so I'll be back later to mine diamonds, then we'll go back up to the top. It is time to make ourselves a diamond pickaxe, we need sticks, that uh, and Diamond pickaxe. We'll get an achievement for that. It's kind of bizarre. All right, and then I think the next step is to get the stuff to enchant it. So we need to work on books and leather. So time for a time lapse of that. I then spent an hour mining all the trees that you can see me breaking in this, and then every now and then going to feed the cows and mining wheat and sugar cane, so that way we can make paper and books in the future for the enchantment table setup. Now that we got enough cows and enough sugar kings, I got four stacks. I'm gonna go look for some lava so we can get some obsidian. We also got, um, you know, a ton of wood because I cleared out all those trees that were around the island. Um, is it nighttime? Yeah, let's go to sleep first. I'm gonna go down and look for some obsidian or some water or lava. So we are in the plains biome because you see my house over there. I got the cursor on. I'm gonna go this way and see if we can find any lava or surface lava. When I went looking for the surface lava, I came across this pumpkin that I picked up so that way we can grow pumpkins in the future. I also saw this really cool dripstone cave that I want to explore later on. And I picked up some spruce wood so that way we can build the house that I want to build later on. And got the saplings of course so I can grow the trees later on. And then I finally found a village and slept. Alright, I found a village to sleep in, so I'm gonna steal all of these and these. So I'll take the potatoes too, because so I can grow them. There's also some lava right here. And it's a big pool, so 
we are going to get literally our very last bit so that way I can get a ton of it and don't have to come back. So let's do this. Hope that there isn't anything underneath it. it is. We'll do that. And pull out our diamond. And now we'll have a time lapse of me mining. I was gonna mine it all, but um, I have 35 pieces and that took like six minutes to mine or something like that. So I'm just gonna leave the rest of that and loot this village real quick and see what I can find. And then we're gonna start running back. So we got some more apples, that's huge. Our book. Oh, we want that. I think there's a blacksmith. Let's see if we can get anything good on that. Sweet. I'm going to take this because I know I'm going to need it. And just apples. And another iron pickaxe. Let me switch those out and take this sword just in case I need it. And the boots. And we'll take the saddles. <laughs> so we'll take everything. Some more bread and potatoes. And we found our first emeralds. And there's no chest. Why are there dirt paths all the way out here? That's funky. That's part of the village stream, but there's no houses over there. There was one more wood type that I needed for my house that I'm going to build later on. And it was acacia trees, so I mined a couple of those and got their saplings. Alright, well I made it home. So let's put our beef in there. Let's put our obsidian, our other obsidian real quick. And our apples. Save those. We need to put our wood over here. Oh no, we want that. I also got some flowers because I've got an idea for my house that I'm going to build later on. I'll put this grindstone right there because we're going to need that. These books are. Gunpowder, brown mushroom. So we're gonna want to grow that. All right, I think this can stay on me except for this pumpkin. Right, let's go plant these real quick, so that way we can start farming them. Now it's time to start depopulating some of these cows so that way we can get their leather. Unfortunately, they have to go. The other good thing about despawning all these guys was I got all their beef. It's time to cook up some steaks so that way we can quit eating bread. And it's time to make some paper. Paper, paper, and then how many books can we make? 53? Hopefully that's enough. 18. So I think I'm going to need some more, but do I have any extra books? No, I don't. It's all fine because... Oh, I do have an extra book. Okay, I need two of these and four of these, I'm pretty sure. Yes, enchanting table. Alrighty, and then let's see, where do we want to make this? I just put it in here for right now because we can move it later. Put it in this corner. So let's see if we can't. So boom, boom, boom. So the enchantment table right there. Just like that. So 
to that 30. Yes, sweet. All right, so now we just gotta get to level 30 and grab some obsidian. And we need to make flint and steel. Let's go into the nether to go mine quartz for XP. Whoops, the easies. And um, this block, grab that button steel, and we're gonna need gold so we don't get jumped by the hoglin people. Golden boots. All right, now it's time to go find some quartz so we can get to level 30 so we can go ahead and chant the pick. And if we don't get the right enchant, we're gonna send the peep. Oh, that's funny. Right next to another fortress. Sweet. And level 30. Sweet. Grab that. And then let's go back to the overworld so we can enchant that pickaxe and figure out what we got. Now that we're back, let's go. Hopefully we got the, because there's efficiency four on the pickaxe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so hopefully we get uh, fortune three as well. Just efficiency. All right, let's see what the next one is. Another efficiency. All right, so let's go back to the nether and do it all over again. All right, and we're level 30 again, so let's go chant that pickaxe do what we get efficiency on break okay so let's keep this one and figure out what the next one is efficiency again okay take three now level 30 for a third time so hopefully we don't have to come back a little bit but we will see all right so let's disenchant just the efficiency one. And then. Oh, wait, what? Well, that's annoying. I thought it was efficiency four. Yeah, okay. Alright. Well, I'll be back. Alright. Try number four. Let's go back. Okay. Hopefully. This time. Okay, sweet. We got efficiency four. It gives me fortune three. All right, try number. I can't remember what number we're on, but level 30. Let's run back. Efficiency four. Really? Oh. Alright, I got level 30, so let's head back. Just gotta figure out where I'm going. And then um, try this again. Hopefully, we can get that fortune pick now. Alright, it's already disenchanted. Need more of this. And unbreaking three, please. And efficiency again. All right, try again. Level 30, all right. Hopefully this is the last time I gotta do this. So I have another unbreaking three. Hopefully it's fortune though. We shall see. I got boom boom please dude this is ridiculous efficiency again level 30 once again we don't want to do that actually let's do that oh, all right hopefully 
This is the last time. I said that every single time, but it's taking forever. Please. Why can't I get Fortune 3? All right. Hopefully, this is the last time. So close to level 30, thank god. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. We got efficiency. After trying about 9 or 10 times of mining quartz in the nether to get to level 30, I decided we would get another thing on the to-do list done, which was to build a mob slash XP farm, so that way I could do it a little bit quicker. And also while I'm doing this, get some more valuable resources for early on game, like gunpowder and bones and strings and arrows and uh, other stuff like that. Alright, level 30, that was a lot quicker, and then we're just gonna jump down. And there is a creeper right there. Well, I really didn't want that to happen, but okay. Alright. Please. Silk touch. After getting the Silk Touch pickaxe, I decided to go back up to the Bob Farm and get a bunch of levels and uh, other good stuff. Went all the way up to level 35, I'm pretty sure. Let me empty the chest real quick. And don't want that. We want that there. Boom. Fix that up. Alright, let's go back down here before it turns to night time so we're not running again. And then hopefully we can get that pickaxe. Fortune 3. Let's grab that pickaxe. Silk touch. Oh man. Okay, we're actually gonna save this one and because I like silk touch on some things. Hopefully we can get one with fortune three on it. Let's just try it again real quick. Well that is highly annoying. Okay, let's go back to it. We only need one level. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's try it. Just efficiency. Okay. And back to the mob spawner. Decided to get a few extra levels so that way we could have a little bit more chances. So hopefully we get the, uh, A fortune enchantment. Jump down. Should only land on a box. Hopefully, 
We will finally get this enchantment. It's such a good pickaxe, but I don't need a... F I need the fortune three. Again? Come on, bro. This is getting ridiculous. Please. Silk touch? No. Alright, one more try, I guess. And efficiency. Okay, this is annoying. Why can't I get... And I'll be back. All right, hopefully this is the time that we get fortune three. Nope. And no, no. why can't I get this freaking enchantment, dude? Hopefully this time. I'm well, gonna go back. Efficiency four, unbreaking three. How many times do I have to enchant this pickaxe to get fortune three? So much. Uh, dude, I am starting to hate this game. Let's enchant these with one level. Disenchant. enough I don't think all right time to go back I'm not even gonna say anything silk touch really and I'm breaking why can't I get this freaking enchantment dude what is going on thank god thank you thank you thank you thank you that only took like four hours grab more lapis because i literally used all of that and fortune three on breaking three speed no efficiency but that's fine all right now let's get prepared to go mining um do i have torches okay it's gonna be a problem Finally hit diamonds, Jesus Christ. And we got four, that's huge. Alright, let's see how many we get in total. A oh, whole baby. Please be a plenty. So we got 17 in total, that is sweet. We are so close to being done with this part. Alright, let's go find some more. There we go. Let's get... Let's make it like an 8 painting. Okay, at least it's 4. Let's see how many we get though. It's 17 before. Ooh, it's 8. Ooh, it's 9. That is huge. I think we might be done mining diamonds. For a little bit at least. Because I have 32 now. So that should be enough to make armor and everything. I think. We have 32 diamonds, let's see, that's five, boom, and some legs, and we have eight left over so we can make another pickaxe and enchant it so that way we can get rid of using the iron pickaxes, and then we can also make a sword, 
So let's put the iron armor on, or the diamond armor on actually. Let's get a look at it. It looks so good. Finally, I'll feel protected because that iron armor was bad. Today I blew up a creeper and it almost killed me. All right, um, let's grab this and let's make ourselves another one of these. And then one of these for now. And we have three left over, so we can either make a shovel. Probably won't make a shovel, just use iron shovels. Probably make a diamond axe later on, but uh, we'll save that for now. Um, and then let's see what enchantments we have on this. Efficiency, let's do that so that we don't have to worry about using iron pickaxes anymore. Just efficiency, really. Alright, well, that's kind of annoying. Breaking three. Um, I might just put this, these two together later on to, so that way I have the right stuff. Alright, and then let's see what our next enchantment is on breaking three. Okay. Alright, let's make the iron sh uh, thing the iron thing uh diamond shovel and i'm gonna go get some levels to enchant it as well so that way i can mine some of the wood that i'm gonna uh use for the house a little bit quicker so let's go get um level 30. now that i'm level 33 because i wanted to enchant my my sword as well i'm going to do that Let's grab our lapus. And I think it's unbreaking. Oh, fortune, we don't want that. What is on our this? Okay, let's do. I guess unbreaking three is all we get on that. And then I guess unbreaking three and efficiency. That's what we wanted. Sweet. Okay. We'll have to make a better diamond sword later, but at least it has unbreaking now. So now that we have the diamond armor, the only thing that I need to do this episode is build my actual house, which I'm going to build right on top of this and then make this into a basement and then make a walkway down to there and a walkway over to there. And then that'll be the end of the episode probably. But to build the house, I need to mine the acacia wood or harvest the acacia wood and the spruce and then I'm going to need to get some more oak wood from around here and some of the birch as well so let's do that real quick and I'm done that was a pretty good one we got a lot done in that uh short amount of time this is where the house is I got rid of the pillar and I got rid of all the trees around here I need to get rid of that and then I'm going to start building the house right up here. And then we're going to make a walkway down. I think I've already explained this, but um, yeah, that's what's about to happen. Got to mention that I got all of this stuff to build the house. So now start the time lapse.
All right. Well, I built the house. So that completes the checklist. And um, before we leave, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of it. So upstairs, we literally just have my bed and then this little balcony looking over everything back here. And I plan on building other stuff back here. So it'll be cool to stand on here and look at it. And if we go downstairs, I moved the enchantment table up here because I felt like it worked better up here. And then I built some more furnaces and moved them right there. And then down here is going to become storage pretty much. And we still have the door to get in and out. And then that's the house. We did a lot this episode. We started the world. We built this. Uh, uh, the cow and the wheat farm and the sugarcane farm. And then we went to the nether. Did all that stuff. And then I built the XP farm. And we built the house. And I got diamond armor all in the first episode. So that's it, guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, be on the lookout for new videos.